approaches of counseling. We will uh, begin with the some techniques of data collection, uh, interview, case study, and testing. So as per your slide, there are some methods has been given. One is like a case study method and mental status examination. Case study method, kya hota hai? any idea? What is case study method? If you have any idea, tell me about the case study method. Case study method is a data collection method. Hmm? No idea about case study, interview. It's a collection of information by means of having a set of questions and conducting uh, that uh, as part of interview and seeking certain uh, uh, answers from the subject on the basis of uh, structured questions. Okay. Pk, what about the case study? Or case study interview because case study is in <coughs> a very important aspect in the field of uh, psychology counseling. Huh? Sir, it's a study okay. of the person. One by one, one by one. Hmm. Sure. Uh, should I speak after you? Okay. Ha, so basically, sir, in the case study, we uh, in-depth study a hmm. single case. Ki, and then we also try to explore that single case, we can use a number of approaches. Uh, use kar sakte hai. Okay. Thank you. So basically, yes, case study is a kind of an in-depth uh, understanding of the clients. This hmm? we uh, interview case study interview. Uh, basically, we try to get the information from the different uh, sources, maybe the, from the client itself, from the parents, from the neighbors, from the teachers, or from the siblings also. Hmm? We do in case study mein, matlab, uh, karte hai. If a person is coming uh, coming to you with the problem of suppose severe depression, then what information you will collect in the case study? Sir, family history, personal relationships. Okay. So first of all, you will take the demographic details. After the demographic details of the client, you will uh, take the present complaints. problems Maybe you will try to identify the common psychiatric symptoms of depression. What are the other comorbid problems which he or she is facing? Hmm. You will note down the details of the previous treatments if he or she is taking. And suppose if there is there any other medical condition is going on, you also have to take a note about that also. Then you will integrate all the information about the current problems or psychiatric issues or maybe the current medical problems. Then you will take a you will take the detail details of the previous episodes depressive episodes in his or her life or maybe uh, apart from the episodes you will also ask the previous psychiatric treatment usne kuch liya hai ki nahi liya hai majorly apart from these you will also need to detail out ki whether he or she is 
involve any kind of substance abuse, drugs, or suicide attempts. Medical history you will take out. Then medical records you have to collect from the different sources. Then after that you will take the family history, parents may, siblings may, ya kis tarika matlab pe uske uska jo relation hai wo kis tarika hai parents ke saath siblings ke saath ya family mein koi tension to nahi hai ya matlab family ka kya mode of coping raha hai uske saath ya family mein koi psychiatric illness to nahi hai then you can interview the uh, clients mother or father or the caregiver then you can take the detailed information about the clients early childhood development then childhood schooling adolescence then you can talk to his friends about the occupation financial you can talk to the client itself about the financial things sexual history marital history bachcho ke sath kaisa relation hai agar bachche hai to social network kaisa hai क्या अच्छी हैबिट्स हैं लाइक पॉजिटिव हैबिट्स क्या है नेगेटिव हैबिट्स क्या है यू हैव टू टेक ऑल दीज डिटेल्स इन योर केस हिस्ट्री इंटरव्यू एंड यू टू इंटीग्रेट ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट सोर्सेस वंस यू इंटीग्रेट ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द क्लाइंट फ्रॉम द पेरेंट्स द पेरेंट्स ऑफ द क्लाइंट और मे बी द वाइफ द क्लाइंट then you are able to come in the position to give any remark about the problem and there is another important aspect in the case history sometimes we as a as a psychologist as a psychologist or clinical psychologist which usually use the technique that is msc mental status examination वो क्या होता है मेंटल स्टेटस एग्जामिनेशन एनी आइडिया एमएससी में ना हम बच्चों को मतलब बच्चों के लिए सॉरी सर क्लाइंट का जो इमोशनल रिस्पांस होता है मूड होता है कॉग्निटिव फंक्शन होता है और उसकी पर्सनालिटी होती है ओवर ऑल सब कुछ वो कोट करते हैं ओके एनीथिंग एल्स सर इट्स असेसमेंट ऑफ क्लाइंट्स कॉग्निटिव एंड बिहेवियरल फंक्शनिंग ओके सो बेसिकली दिस इज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट सेगमेंट ऑफ काउंसलिंग और क्लिनिकल काउंसलिंग मेंटल स्टेटस एग्जामिनेशन सो बेसिकली दिस इज आल्सो काइंड ऑफ असेसमेंट प्रोसेस which involves interview observation psychological test on the basis of all these uh, techniques of information gathering then you integrate or develop a summary about the client's symptoms and problems and this is a proper sort of a clinical assessment so that you will be able to identify the present problems or the major symptoms and the behavioral aspects i'm sorry agar aap baat karte hain general medical exam medical examination mein kya hota hai aapne dekha hoga medical mein medical exam mein If it, if the person is having neuropsychological problems, uh, then the doctor will recommend some test like EEG करने के लिए बोलेगा इस CAT बोलेगा या PET बोलेगा PET बोलेगा या MRI बोलेगा करने के लिए uh, just to understand the neuro developmental issues. But ये सब चीजें medical में होती है बट जब हम साइकोलॉजिकल असेसमेंट करते हैं या मेंटल एग्जामिनेशन करते हैं देन उसमें क्या है
so basically in psychological assessments on clinical psychological assessments we tend to focus on the very realistic picture like how a client react or interact with the social environment and it will help you as a, as a psychologist or as a counselor to form a hypothesis and this mental is uh, mental aapka jo msc hai it is a core skill for the counselors or of or of a or of a qualified mental health professional and it is very much a key part of the initial psychiatric assessment especially in the opds in the psych uh, the psychiatric hospital settings so basically the purpose of doing msc is to obtain the evidences of symptom signs of mental disorders and sometimes like uh, these symptoms how much danger to the self or the others at the at the time of interview and this msc covers a wide range of information Related, related to the client's insight judgment abstract reasoning his ability to make decisions hum kin kin cheezon ko dekhte hain isme agar suppose if you are doing msc to aap kin kin cheezon pe focus karenge bataiye sir appearance behavior okay. mood affect perception speech and okay. their thoughts ha huh? thoughts thoughts okay aur kuch aur kuch ho sakta hai ha huh? हालांकि बहुत कुछ है ऑब्जर्व करने के लिए वाइल इन डूइंग दी एम एस सीज मतलब यू कैन सी द लेवल ऑफ कॉरपोरेशन कॉरपोरेशन कितना है जनरल अपीरेंस कैसी है एटीट्यूड कैसा है देन फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन यू कैन सी स्पीच यू कैन ऑब्जर्व अब उसमें भी बहुत सारे मतलब सब वो हैं अब क्या देखेंगे स्पीच में आप क्या देखेंगे सपोज इफ हम डॉक्टर मोट स्पीच स्पीच में आप क्या देखेंगे बताइए जरा स्पीच क्लियर है कि नहीं है पिच कैसी है वॉल्यूम कैसी है और मतलब वर्ड्स है वो किस तरीके का जो वर्ड है वो यूज कर रही है अच्छा सो स्ट्रक्चरिंग ऑफ थॉट्स हाउ ही कन्वेस द uh it's how he expresses uh whether there is a clarity of thought and uh, whether the recalling uh, is being able to done uh, mm -hmm. and uh, whether it is manipulative or uh, whether it is uh, fact based right bahut sari cheeze hote hain behavior matlab you can observe the behavior and psychomotor activities you can uh, observe you have to observe the affect means the objective part then subjective part mood mood kaisa hai mood like in terms of mood as mood ki baat karu then euthymic the normal hai like uh, 
या मतलब आपका एबसेंस एबसेंस ऑफ डिप्रेशन है या एलेशन है या इरिटेबल है या डिस्पोरिया है यूरोफिया है एपैथिक है ग्रीफ है एनाडोनिया है बहुत सारी मतलब साइकोलॉजी बहुत सारे बहुत सारे वो हैं या मूड इनकंजरेंट है थॉट कंटेंट कैसा है इगोसिंटोनिक है गिल्ट है एनोमिया है अनवर्थीनेस आ रहा है या होपलेसनेस दिख रही है हेल्पलेसनेस दिख रही है सोमेटिक प्री ऑक्यूपाइड तो नहीं है ऑब्सेशन तो नहीं है कंपल्शन तो नहीं है रूमिनेशन तो नहीं है आइडिया ऑफ रेफरेंसेस तो नहीं है पैरानोइड एडिशन तो नहीं है थॉट प्रोसेस में आफ्टर दैट यूनिट टू ऑब्जर्व लाइक द डिसऑर्डर ऑफ परसेप्शन इल्यूजन एग्नोसिया हिस्टोरिकल इनफिसिया डीपर्सनलाइजेशन डी रियलाइजेशन टोमेटिक कंप्लेन्ट कॉगनेटिव फंक्शन इंसाइट और जजमेंट बहुत कुछ है लाइक विद इन दी वन कैटेगरी ऑफ इट लाइक देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स सपोज अगर मैं स्पीच की बात करूं तो स्पीच में लाइक नॉर्मल रेट कैसा है टोन कैसा है वॉल्यूम कैसा है स्लो फास्ट प्रेशर तो नहीं है सॉफ्ट तो नहीं है लाउड तो नहीं है मोनोट्यून तो नहीं है स्लो टोन तो नहीं है स्टटरिंग तो नहीं है म्यूटिज्म तो नहीं है पॉवर्ट ऑफ स्पीच तो नहीं है लोगोरिया तो नहीं है मोटरफेसिया तो नहीं है अभी सारे कॉन्सेप्ट हैं जो आपको थोड़ा सा पढ़ना पड़ेगा एंड देन वी यूज साइकोलॉजिकल टेस्ट विच आर स्टैंडर्डाइज एज आई मैं प्रीवियस क्लास ऑल्सो Then different approaches now after this मतलब ये सारी चीजें आप पढ़ लीजिएगा केस स्टडी मेथड क्या होता है किस क्या टेक्निक्स है एम एस सी का क्या टेक्निक्स है किन किन चीजों को क्या डोमेन है एम एन सी के ठीक है देन डिफरेंट अप्रोचेज अगर मैं बात करूँ काउंसलिंग की साइकोडाइनमिक हम ऑलरेडी पढ़ चुके हैं हालांकि आपके सिलेबस में बहुत सारा रिपीटिशन है साइकोडाइनेमिक का अगर सिबन फर्ड पढ़ा पढ़ा ही था आपने राइट व्हाट अबाउट द न्यू फ्रॉडियंस हां न्यू फ्रॉडियंस क्या है हम सर जो सेगमेंट फोर्ड है उनके अगेंस्ट थे या फिर मतलब उनके जो पीपल्स है वो उनके जो मतलब क्लोन में थे वो उनके जो अगेंस्ट थे उनके उनके अगेंस्ट नहीं थे ठीक है मतलब दे वर सम कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन इन दॉट्स कुछ चीजों पे थोड़ा सा उनका मतलब जो था जो पर्सपेक्टिव था वो अलग था कार्लियम से सॉरी सिगमन फ्रॉइड से एंड बेसिकली दी दो पीपल what we call them new for audience basically they have emphasized on social determin determinants and the conscious reality jo ki sigmund freud ki theory mein hame kahin nahi dikhta suppose if you study the carl jung carl jung ki kya theory thi what was the theory of carl jung हाँ 
Any idea about Carl Jung theory? नहीं पता पर्सनालिटी की कार्डियम की थ्योरी अंडरस्टैंडिंग दी कलेक्टिव अनकॉन्शियस थ्योरी क्या था अंडरस्टैंडिंग दी कलेक्टिव अनकॉन्शियस ऑल दो ही वॉज अ वेरी लाइक अर्लियर अर्ली एडमायर ऑफ सिगमन फ्रॉयड बट लेटर ऑन ही कम अपज ओन थ्योरी जिसको हम एनालिटिकल साइकोलॉजी बोलते थे एंड ही क्लेम दैट देर आर थ्री कलेक्टिव अनकॉन्शियस Hmm. We also talked about the archetypes. Nay, pada the unconscious of every female uh, includes a masculine assertive elements, which is which we which he called animus, and the every <coughs> male have an unconscious part, a feminine unconscious part, a passive element. जिसको हम एनिमा बोलते हैं ही ऑल्सो लाइक इन हिस्स थ्योरी अगर पढ़ेंगे थ्योरी को तो आप देखेंगे मतलब ही फोकस ऑन फोर वेज टू कनेक्ट विद द वर्ल्ड लाइक विद विद द हेल्प ऑफ लाइक योर सेंसेस इंट्यूशंस फीलिंग्स एंड थिंकिंग and he was like very famous for his own theory like the introversion extroversion you know diya tha wo inhi ka concept tha alfred edler padha hai apne alfred edler ko new freudian very famous person alfred adler jinhone jinhone lifestyle ke bare mein baat ki hai lifestyle and social interest huh and his theory was very popular known as individual psychology in which he talked about uh, the behavior is very much purposeful and the goal directed aap log masters ke student aapne nahi padha adler nahi padha aap logon ne new frauds mein hmm in apne theory mein kaha na like everyone have like every one of us has a capacity to choose चूज एंड क्रिएट और जो हमारे जो गोल्स होते हैं बेसिकली जो गोल्स हम सेट करते हैं अपने लिए सोर्सेज ऑफ मोटिवेशन इज द वन हु टॉक अबाउट इन्फीरियरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स another famous personality karen karen horney jinka theory tha social foundations of personality What about the cognitive approach? Cognitive approach is what? Huh? 
Yes, Albert Ellison and Aaron Back. What was cognitive approach? What was Aaron Back? Any idea? Sir, the negative thoughts are emphasized. So basically, Aaron Back has developed a system of therapy, which has been uh, mostly or widely used in the cases of depression. So basically, जो आपको cognitive therapist होते हैं, जो और जो counselors होते हैं, जो cognitive approach को follow करते हैं, so basically they try to help. Their clients to recognize the negative thoughts or biased interpretations, or maybe you can say the error, error in logics, which forbade their thinking. And because of all these issues, that caused them to feel depressed. So the role of the counselor is to guide the client to challenge their own dysfunctional thoughts and try to come up with new interpretations. What about the uh, this one, Albert Ellis? Sir, it's Rational Emotional Behavior Therapy, R-E-D-T. R-E-D-T, that's Rational Emotive Therapy. What was that? Action-oriented approach is the irrational beliefs and behavior that can be managed. It means that the people so basically in this RET, which Albert Ellis ne diya tha, so basically in that Albert Ellis focused on how you can change the client's basic maladaptive thought processes. And according to the Albert Ellis, a psychologically healthy person wo hai, a person who is rational and in tune with the reality. But in today's arena, many people like harbors unrealistic beliefs and try to be more perfectionist. Well, so and because of that, it creates the anxiety, depression, panic, failures. So in RET, basically the counselor worked on the maladaptive thought processes of the client. जो कि वो एक unrealistic अपने आसपास जो unrealistic beliefs हैं उनको develop करता है उसपे काम करने का है. So basically आ, यू, आप कह सकते हैं RET attempts to restructure the person's self valuation and the belief system. So RET basically aims to increase the individual's feeling of self-worth and pave the way for the self-growth. I 
अनदर अप्रोच इज लाइक पर्सन सेंटर्ड अप्रोच क्या है पर्सन सेंटर्ड अप्रोच एनी आइडिया ियलिस्टिक अप्रोच भी बोलते हैं so basically this approach basically put forward the positive and optimistic view of human nature hmm rogers ne kya bola rogers talked about the self hmm राइट सो बेसिकली द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट आइडिया विच आर प्रपोज बाय द रॉजर्स दैट वाज द फुल फुली फंक्शनिंग पर्सन सो पीपल लाइक पीपल वांट टू बिकम सच पर्सन एंड मूव इन दैट डायरेक्शन so basically rogers believe that one's mental health is uh, related to the degree of congruence or the match between our self concept and the life experiences agar hamara self concept jo hai agar consistent hai with the actual life experiences se then we will observe ourselves as a congruent and adjustable अगर ये नहीं है अगर ये मिसमैच होता है देन डेफिनेटली इट विल क्रिएट अ इम्बैलेंस विच विल लीड टू दी मेंटल हेल्थ इश्यूज और इन्होंने क्या कौन सी थेरेपी दी थी he talked about the client centered therapy and what about the maslow maslow theory of self actualization sir unhone ye yaar ki di thi needs wali needs wali di thi okay psychology matlab that was very much similar to the uh, rogers concept of fully functioning person he also talked about the psychologically healthy people uh, who have attained self actualization what is self actualization basically kya hai self actualization what do you understand by self actualization so basically self actualization is a state in which people have reached their own fullest potential agar aap maslow ki theory padhenge then you will find that maslow had an optimistic and positive view of man who has the potentials for love joy and creative work हाँ जी सर वो नीड्स थ्योरी हर आर्टिकल ऑफ नीड्स थ्योरी में ना यस वो हर आर्टिकल ऑफ नीड्स थ्योरी में ना सेल्फ एक्चुअलाइजेशन आई थिंक अगर मास्को ले मास्लो वाले नी थ्योरी के पर्सपेक्टिव से देखें तो प्रॉब्ली ये भी हो सकता है बिकॉज़ इट इज़ द हाईएस्ट स्टेज तो 
बेसिकली uh, uh, ये ऐसा फेज जहाँ पर uh, आपकी नीड्स मीट हो या नहीं हो uh, मतलब इट डजन रियली मैटर बिकॉज आप ऐसे स्टेज पे पहुंच चुके हो जहाँ पर आप सर्वाइवल uh, मोड पे नहीं हो अब सो एंड यू ऑल्सो प्रॉब्लम ट्राई टू कनेक्ट विद द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड ओके सो बेसिकली इफ यू लाइक जैसा मास्लो ने कहा है लाइक ह्यूमन बीइंग्स आर कंसीडर्ड फ्री टू शेप देयर ओन लाइफ्स हम्म एंड टू सेल्फ एक्चुअलाइज सो व्हिच मींस दैट आपकी जो एनवायरमेंटल स्टिमुली है उसका सर इफेक्ट कम हो जाता है नहीं नहीं उसका इफेक्ट कम नहीं होता है मतलब यू हैव द पोटेंशियल टू reach hmm. the state of self actualization because hmm. you have see you have the potential to shape your own life you have the potential hmm. to give love care hmm. affection hmm. Hmm. you can you, you can build up your own self concept hmm. and after building all these things you can act, you can reach to the level of self actualization hmm Hmm. If you see the like on the hierarchy hierarchy of needs, हाँ जी, uh, the preoccupation with the uh, meeting with the lower needs hmm. may lead to the deficiency of the orientation. हाँ जी. And he also talked about the meta needs. मेटा नीड्स के बारे में उन्होंने कुछ बोला है मतलब ही यूज द टर्म मेटा नीड्स सो बेसिकली ही ही यूज दिस टर्म लाइक फॉर द हायर ऑर्डर नीड्स लाइक जस्ट इज गुडनेस यूनिटी So basically, if you see the from the humanistic perspective, humanistic and existential perspective, you will find they have given a person-centered approach. जहाँ पे क्या करता है? इस काउंसलर काउंसलर क्या करता है इसमें? Client-centered approach में So basically, in the client-centered uh, centered therapy. The therapist or the counselor creates a psychological climate in which a client can feel unconditionally accepted, understood, or valued as a person, so that he or he or she feels that, or maybe the client for the first time uh, to the client explore their real feelings, thoughts, and he or she will accept the negative emotions. What about the narrative approach? What is narrative approach to assessment and counselling? ओके एनीबॉडी एल्स सर एक्सप्लेनिंग यू नो पर्सन्स लाइफ एस स्टोरीज
okay so basically in narrative therapy the counselor emphasizes on the stories that uh, the client will develop and carry out the client throughout their life so jo bhi aapne experience kiya hai ya jo aapka socialization process raha hai ya jis tarah se aap interact karte hain so how you give meaning to those experiences as a counselor or how those all these events in the life influence the client's world so here the client can uh, come up with the multiple stories at once इसमें बहुत सारी टेक्निक्स हैं लाइक दे इज वन पुटिंग टूगेदर इज वन ऑफ द टेक्निक एक्सटर्नलाइजेशन इज वन ऑफ द टेक्निक डी कंस्ट्रक्शन इज वन ऑफ द टेक्निक एंड दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ थेरेपी बेसिकली हेल्प्स द क्लाइंट्स विद द विद द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एंजाइटी एडीएचडी डिप्रेशन ईटिंग डिसऑर्डर ग्रीफ पीटीएचडी so basically this kind of therapy allow the people uh to not only find their own voices but to use their voice for the good and helping others just to become an expert in their own life abhi i still remember like one of uh, my case uh, uh un- <coughs> she was suffering from ptsd so like after a couple of like after 2 years or 3 years like he now he start practicing as a counselor now he become expert how how the people can overcome from the pe- problem like ptsd depression anxiety so here the client come up as an expert of his own voices and as a counselor you are not going to blame for and there is no place of blame or blaming and it is very very effective <coughs> therapy when it comes to ptsd severe depression anxiety and as a counselor your role is also very unique matlab you have to give that space so that uh, the client will feel comfortable relaxed he or she can able to trust well develop a trust on you and this narrative therapy also like improve your empathy decision making social skills 
and it has been found in many researches also and sometimes if the if the ye jo hote hai na aapka couple therapies hum couple therapies karte hain interpersonal relations ke jab cases aate hain to couple this narrative therapy will definitely be very helpful just to achieve a marital satisfaction but you have to be very careful and uh carry careful like an important thing which you have to keep in mind that this kind of therapy is very in depth in nature aur is therapy mein aapko like client ke ki jo strength hai aur jo problems hain dono pe focus karna hai ठीक है सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट अप्रोचेस ऑफ काउंसलिंग ये आपका मॉड्यूल टू था आप इसको डिटेल में पढ़िए अगर कुछ नहीं समझ में आता है देन विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओके ओके सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you thank you